bringing you my morning routine. I've wanted to do this for a long time and also it's been requested a lot. The main reason I haven't done it is because I didn't know how to do this video without making it seem like my life was perfect and like every day is perfect and really organized and productive because it's not. Uh, so before we get into the morning routine, I wanna just say this is just a general outline of a day. It's not every day. I definitely have mornings where I don't shower. I have mornings where I don't exercise, where I maybe sleep in a bit. So take this video with a pinch of salt, keep that in mind. I just want this to maybe motivate and help a few of you or inspire a few of you for some healthy habits that you can incorporate into your day-to-day -day life and morning routines because these things really help me to get my day started on the right track and feel good in the morning. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy. So first thing in the morning, this little one will come and say hello. He always knows when I'm awake and he'll make his way up to the top of the bed for a cuddle which is very, very cute and I love him so much. <laughs> Sometimes I spend a little bit too much time cuddling my cat in the morning. Um, I don't actually have an alarm, I don't set an alarm. I tend to just wake up the same time every day. My body clock has just adjusted. I wake up at around half seven-ish and that's the sort of time that Alex wakes up for work so I think that's why I started waking up at that time. I used to wake up a lot earlier, but I just haven't been recently. I'd much prefer to be getting up at six. I should try getting up earlier, but it's just not happening at the minute. <laughs> but then I will move my cat out of the way so I can actually get up and start my day rather than just cuddling all morning. And I will have some water. It's super important to drink water in the morning. I always have a bottle or a jar of water next to my bed and I'll take a big sip or just drink as much as I can when I wake up. It wakes me up, makes me feel really fresh and ready for the day. I'll grab my phone and then I'll make my way to the bathroom, but I'm not gonna show you that, but I do go to the toilet first thing in the morning. And then I will clean my teeth. I recently got sent this absolutely amazing electric toothbrush from Vanity Planet, so thank you so much. I've never had an electric toothbrush before, and it's honestly changed the game. It's just so much better than a normal toothbrush. It has three different settings on it, and it pauses after 30 seconds to let you know to move on to the next part of your mouth, and after two minutes, it stops completely. So you're making sure that you're cleaning everything so thoroughly and my teeth feel so much cleaner and they've definitely gotten whiter since I've been using it. I keep the charger for it on my desk and it has this really really cool thing in the back which cleans your tooth heads. It's a little UV light that sanitizes them and it's just it's just so cool. So if you guys want to get your hands on one of these toothbrushes I have an incredible 75% off discount the link is in the description, all the info is down there. Check it out if you want to get your hands on one of these amazing toothbrushes. Then I will often get back into my bed, I won't get into bed, but I'll get back on my bed and give this one another cuddle because he's meowing at me and it's hard to resist. <laughs> and I will open up the curtains, see what the weather's like, and if it's sunny, I'll go on a bike ride. If it's raining, I probably won't. So I'm grabbing my kit here and I've got this really great t-shirt from Jade Green Vegan, fueled by veg. <laughs> and I'm just saying goodbye to Alex because he's off to work for the day. Bye Alex. And then I'll just grab all my things. I've got my helmet, my bike gloves, my backpack and my shoes. And then I will grab something to keep me going. I don't like doing fasted cardio. I need something in the morning, I need some sugar, some energy to get me going for the day if I'm doing something active. And I'll grab my bike, grab some water, and make my way to the shops. Today I needed to get a few bits from the shop, so that's where I'm headed today. And I love getting out in the morning, it's the best way to start the day, and when I don't do this, which is sometimes, I don't do this every day, and when I don't, I'm not as productive and I don't feel as good, so I highly recommend you get outside and do something active in nature in the morning to start your day off right. And here I'm at Aldi getting a few bits. I needed some porridge, some almond milk and some other things. I needed some vegetables. I needed beans. They didn't have any for some reason. And also some frozen fruit. I love Aldi. It's so cheap. All this stuff was I think around six quid. The only bad thing about Aldi is that they package everything in plastic. Get on it Aldi. Stop packaging everything up. We don't need it. Shopping bought, time to go home. 
as I said before, I love getting outside. It makes me feel grateful and grounded and it just puts me in a good mood immediately. Can't not be in a good mood once I've been on my bike ride. And then when I get home, I will plonk my bag down and I definitely didn't put everything away straight away. I just put the frozen stuff away because I was super hungry by this point and just put the frozen fruits in the freezer and I'm gonna put the other stuff away when I get out the shower. I'm also going to complete my Strava. I will link my Strava down below. I sometimes forget to do this, but I use Strava to track everything. Great app. And then I'm jumping in the shower. I'm not washing my hair today, just having a nice wash after that sweaty bike ride. And this is my favorite scrub. It's a facial scrub I made myself. And I will be doing a skincare video soon on it to show you how I make it. It's basically oatmeal and almond meal. It's so, so good. It smells amazing and leaves your skin feeling so great. And once I've finished in the shower, I'll jump out and get dressed into something super comfortable. I work from home, so I have no time for uncomfortable clothes. And here I am using my DIY homemade facial oil. Again, I'll probably include this in my skincare routine so you guys can see what it is. And it's just the nicest thing ever. You feel like you're in a spa. It's best to put it on slightly damp skin and I just wash my hands so it's not, they're not all oily and I'm using my deodorant. This is the best deodorant I've used. I've tried so many different natural deodorants and that one is so great. And then I will do my hair. I don't always do my hair, but today I was filming a video so I thought why not do my hair today. And I just give it a little brush if it needs a little brush and I will spray it with this homemade hairspray that I have, which just sort of resets my curls because my hair, when I sleep on it, kind of flattens it out a bit and I want it to have a bit more of a zhuzh, <laughs> zhuzh, oomph. <laughs> and so it will be kind of wet for the rest of the video, so ignore that. But yeah, this is a great way to reset your curls for the day. And then I will make my bed. I always like to have my bedroom nice and tidy and my bed made. It just feels nice in the evening when you get back into it. Then I'll make my oatmeal. I'll have one cup of oats with a cup of almond milk, a cup of water, some cinnamon and whatever fruit I fancy that day. Today I'm having some mango because this is my current obsession. I love mango and my oatmeal and I would normally add a date but I didn't have one today because I've run out and instead I'm going to be sweetening it on top with some maple syrup. So I'm adding some more mango, some desiccated coconut and some maple syrup. <laughs> And then I will bring my porridge through to the office with a big jar of water and I will get started on some work. I'll have some porridge obviously first, yum 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 yum. And then I will write up my to-do list. I have to do this every day to keep track of things. It makes me feel a lot better once I've written my list and I know what I'm doing. And then I will write some things that I'm grateful for. This is a great way to reduce anxiety and stress and just feel a lot better if you don't write it down at least think about it and then i will look at my goals i have them up in front of me my yearly goals and my monthly goals i totally believe in the law of attraction and visualization and then i'll just get started for the day i will be doing videos replying to you guys emails other projects lots of things i'll probably be sat here most of the day so thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it and subscribe if you want to. I will leave the link to the toothbrush in the description if you're interested and I will see you in my next video. Bye!